Fast 9524T, 72 nozzle, 120 foot boom, 20 inch nozzle spacing. From the end boom fold joint right here, we mount VCM for section number one or fold section number one there. There's nine nozzles from the tip back to this fold joint, so we run a nine nozzle VCM. In the secondary fold joint, there are 13 nozzles, so we run a 15 nozzle VCM. We mount it right here at this secondary fold joint. VCM mounted right inside of there. VCM goes down, plugs in to that valve, and runs out to the fold joint for the nine nozzles. The next section catches the primary fold joint, so it's the next folding frame section on this boom. For this section, we mount a 15 nozzle VCM in the center. We come up and we catch nozzles one, two, and three on here. We come up through this wire holder, up through this wire holder. We skip one drop in that process, and then we drop it down and we catch the remainder of nozzles, which will be 14 in this section over here. On the right side of the boom, same thing. We catch VCM number four okay. down at the bottom. Nozzles one, two, and three come through a mirroring fold joint, drop down, catch the remainder of the nozzles to the primary fold down here. Again, mirror image, fifth VCM mounts at this fold joint and runs out to the tip. 13 nozzles in this boom fold section, so we do tie two nozzles back here at the end. Then we come through the fold joint. All the wiring follows these plumbing hoses back to the center of the machine. And again, VCM is mounted right inside of this and it runs out to the end of the boom. On the fast boom, this is a six section machine. These are uh, cylinder or ball valves four, five, and six. We run those over to our harness, which four, five, and six, and this routes back to the Gateway Hub. Gateway Hub sections four, five, and six right here. And then boom sections, boom valves one, two, and three route. Again, following the loops up through here. They come down and then we power ball valves one, two, and three. In the center of the machine, we have power and ground. And again, that comes through here, follows their plumbing up th under the tank and up to the tongue of the machine. These are the extensions that run out to our VCMs. We have servo, which routes following the power harness down through there. servo cable comes over to the PWM spoil over here and plugs in two pin DT and again it just follows just follows underneath this chassis the next port we have on here is pressure and flow so we come over here we have a capstan pressure sensor on here just routes behind goes down in this bed of harnesses three pin weather pack connection. Also off of this pressure and flow port on the hub, we run over here and we plug into the flow meter. As you can see, the three pin connection, three pin connects all connector there. The last port is um, ISO CAN and key switched power. And this is the master foot switch source. And that comes in here. And we have a Y harness going into um, into the fast harness here where we get uh, ISO can high, ISO can low, key switched, and uh, the master uh, switch power runs into here. We have uh, one dongle hanging off of here. This is for a can terminator. In this use case, we did not need to terminate this connection right here to pull up on the bus.
in the event that you would need a Terminator, there is a spot here to install a Terminator.